Hello everyone, this is Viknesh. In this video, I'm going to explain about how to generate an auth type one in Zoho. So uh, why we, before that, I'm going to explain why we need an auth token. So auth token is used to uh, integrating your uh, application, your uh, Zoho application with uh, other Zoho products or your or, uh, third party applications. So for that, uh, the auth token is needed to uh, integrate this application. So in this video, I'm going to uh, tell you how to generate our token in uh, step by step. So the first thing is, what you have to do is, uh, you have to go to api.zoho.com. Let me go into that again. So the steps, the steps I'm going to explain over here to generate our token, this will be a same for all products, whether you are going to generate a token for a CRM or a, you're going to generate a token for a books or you want your subscription or a creator, whatever it is. The steps will be a common for all Zoom products. So here, what you have to do is you have to generate a client ID and client secret. So for this, you have to add a new client ID over here, which is up here on your right top. Click add client ID. Then in this, you have a five different option over here, whether you can create a client-based application or server-based and mobile-based or a non-browser or Swift client. So in this video, I'm going to explain about the server-based application and the Swift client. First, let me explain about the server-based application. I'm just clicking create now. Now I have to give a client. So you can give a, the given a name, whatever the name, which you want. I'm just given my name. And uh, I have to update a home page URL and authorized redirect URL. I'm just using that uh, google.com. I'm pasting here. So, and create. Now, if you see my screen, uh, I successfully generated a client ID and client history. So, this is a step one. Now, We'll move into that uh, step two. Authorization code. So I'm just copying this URL. This is a URL to generate authorization code. So I'm just pasting this in my notepad. So if you look into this URL, it has a client ID scope redirect URL. So what we have to do is we have to replace the client ID scope and operate redirect URL with the uh, ID and the URL which you are given when generating the client ID. So I'm just copying that uh, client ID. I'm pasting over here. Then redirect URL. I'm just using the same. that slash. Now scope. Scope is nothing but uh, when you are creating a application, when you are creating auth token for a CRM, you have to give a uh, scope for a Zoho CRM. So if you are going to generate uh, auth token for a books, you have to give a scope for uh, that books account. Same like same like that. Uh, whatever the application, whatever the auth token which you are trying to generate. So based on that product, you have to give them that a specific scope. So I already have a, sorry, I already have a scope for a CRM. I'm just copying this. And I'm pasting it over here. And now I'm copying this URL. Now I'm just placing this in another tab. And I'm just clicking it. Now, when I click, when I uh, open a new tab, it will ask you whether uh, you want to generate auth token in the production environment or uh, the developer. So I'm just choosing, um, if you have any sandbox, it will ask you to uh, create a, create auth token in the sandbox. Open. So I'm just using that production environment now. And I click submit. So based on that scope which you are given, it will ask you to access a permission. Uh, 
so you, here you can restrict whether the Athrokan it can provide a permission to access your records. Now I click ASAP. After that, it will redirect into another URL here. In this URL, you can find a code over here. So we have to copy this code. Then we'll move into that uh, next step. Generate token. So I'm just copying the curve. I'm going to that uh, postman. I just click import. I'm just placing this curve. Now I have to replace the code client ID, redirect URL, and the client secret. So I'm just back to that uh, browser. And I'm just copying the code. And I'm just over here and client ID and client redirect you. So that's it. Now I click enter. So now I want a refresh token, access token, and uh, it will be expired in uh, one hour. So now we got a refresh token. Now finally, by using that particular request token, we can generate a or auth token. Let me show you that. I'm just pasting over here. Sorry, let me paste it. Seems there is some issue. Okay. All right, so let me copy it from back here from here and I'll show you. So on the base URL, you can see account.zipo.com. I'm just copying from this. And I'm pasting over here. Now I have to replace the details. I'm just copying the request token, which we generated. I'm just copying this. And paste over here. Now I'm going to copy the client ID. I'm just copying here and client secret. That's it. I'm using that uh, details which we are in now. I'm just to skip this record. Now, this is my final auth token. So, whenever you want to push a data or a, you want to get the data or whatever the action which you want to perform using this API, you can use this. Uh, you can use this method for generating an auth token. By using that auth token, you can perform the actions. So by using this auth token, I'm going to show you a simple example. Okay, I'm just showing a simple example to get a records from the CR. So here's a simple API to get a records from a Zoho CR. I'm just copying this curve and I'm doing input over here. So now I'm just copying the auth token which we are which we generate. I'm just copying this in the header. I'm just replacing this auth token. When I hit this, you can see the records which are all in my CR. Same like this. Uh, 
you can replace currently uh, for this demo i'm just using that uh, zoho crm so for this uh, same like this you can use uh, books or uh, inventory whatever the scope which you want and you can do an integration with your application so let me uh, explain about that another method for generating or token so i'm just going to again i'm going to the same step add a client id so now i'm just choosing a self client In that i'm just creating this i'm just enabling so now you can see the client id and client secret now i'm going to generate a code over here for this i have to given a scope over here remember that existing one in that uh, in that we are uh, given a scope in that url for the self client you can give a scope over here itself and you can set a duration for the expiration period of that particular scope now i'm just giving the access so here the code so you can copy it here and uh, as same like the process which we seen which we seen over here you just replace the code and you just replace the client id and react url you can uh, generate our token so this is an uh, another method hope uh, this video is clear for you to generate a token so if you have any queries you just uh, comment me in that uh, below video thanks for